Uh, let's talk a little bit about Fluid's approach to this, right? This has been a long time coming for us in terms of, uh, you know, I think some of the LinkedIn posts have compared it to the 911s launched by Porsche yeah. or the Birkin by Hermes. Yeah. Uh, why is this such a game changing agent in platform before we sort of really go? It, like, our it, agents are going to be like the new apps, right? Like, you have language models that are like phones right. Uh, right like oh the iphone came right and revolutionized the way we work it's like oh this totally different way of interacting with this device and a new type of device okay language models were that right right they're totally new way of interacting with computers systems uh, and they have this intelligence to them and agents are almost like apps on top of them okay so you could build uh, like an app which is like a Sales agent app, okay. call center support app, all right, and and uh, and and that's the way we kind of looked at it. Like, so I think the few key items that everyone's looking at when they're building agents is one, they're extremely programming oriented. Like I feel like it's like all the programmers can create these, okay. but they're not available for regular folks. Like, like a no code, low code. Yeah, exactly. Like a business user can't go like, oh, I. This is the way I work, and can I just put it down and have a series of agents do this for me? Okay. So I think that was one big gap, right? No matter like you see a crew or a land, uh, whatever the open source, uh, what do you call it? Framework. Frameworks out there, they're all limited to this approach mm-hmm. of saying that okay, you have to write code. Okay. Um, which is a very stifling even for a developer. This takes a lot of time to then you know, learn the framework. Yeah, and then you get the nuts and bolts going. Right? Correct, yeah. yeah. And you have like a thought flow in your head so yeah. you get the running fast. So number one, that's that's something we try to solve for. Okay. Uh, the second big challenge when you want to use agents is uh, how do you use them in like, you know, like agents these days have been great for like these linear flows. Okay. Uh, so no back and forth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like okay. customers having back and forths with the agents. Yeah. That's uh, like even if you try and code that in one of the agentic frameworks, it's very complicated. Okay. Like how do you maintain state, and then how does it go back and forth? And that becomes important custom interaction. Do the customer say, "Hey, I want to change something." Yes. Or you want some? He's not going to give you everything in the start. Like, correct, correct. Maybe a user in the company can, correct. but a customer will be exactly. Yeah. So yeah. customers will want a lot of like you know back and forth switching. Yeah, uh, and managing going on. So that's where the ability for these agents to be a lot more intelligent, okay, uh, to handle that state is very important. So that's that's one key key thing. That's the second thing thing we solve for. Mm. And third is 